Just confirming we are in Toronto. There it is. That's what the sign says at Nathan Phillips Square. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Hey, Sid, how were you at math in school? Oh, solid 52% student. Barely squeaking by? Yep, barely Same. squeaking by. Same. But if I tried harder, I think I'd maybe get a 62. The point is this. We still got a job? We, yep, we got it. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> math can be stressful. It's a stressful <laughs> subject that many of us stray away from. True. But it doesn't have to be the case. Here to show us how to face our math fears is math educator and math positivity expert, nice. Vanessa Vicaria, who is just a, a fantastic delight joining us this morning. Vanessa, how are you doing? You got a book out? There's a lot going on. I'm so excited to help you fall in love with math this morning. And I just want to say I got a solid under 50 for two years. I don't know if you know this, but I failed grade 11 math two times in a row. I came close. I hear you. So this is, this is very uh, uh, motivating because for a lot of us, we're like, I'm never going to, my brain can't compute. Who helped yes. you? to be able to then become a teacher of all things and an author of all things math. I'm so glad you said that. So for sure, my life changing moment was a teacher. Her name was Eva. She is amazing. And the most exciting part about it is Scholastic agreed to let, not agreed, but <laughs> to let her edit Math Hacks too. So this new book, we actually kind of wrote a bit together. Like she vetted it all. She used those same techniques when she was teaching me. So it's, it's a very special moment for me that it's all kind of coming around. but. To be honest, she changed my life. And I'll tell you what changed my life. I walked into her classroom and I said, you're going to have a lot of trouble with me. I'm not a math person. And she looked at me and said the words that would change my life to this day. And she just said, that's not a thing. And it changed everything for me. You're amazing. So this book, Math Hacks 2, is out soon, November 2nd, tomorrow. So you're going tomorrow. to quiz us and show us that math can be fun, apparently, <laughs> Sid. No, but for, for a lot of young people, Vanessa, and I know I'm speaking for you, for a lot of young people at home who might be watching this before they're heading to school and they're not doing well, mm -hmm. you're not alone. This is hard. This stuff is it difficult. Is but this book is going gonna, is gonna to help you maybe not be as scared going in. And we're about to show you, you know, that math can be a good time live yeah. on air. So, Absolutely. Uh, all right, Vanessa. So we, do yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. go ahead. Go I'm ahead. So go ahead. You run ah. it. I don't know why I'm running the segment. You run it. Okay, so first of all, deep breath. What I want to say, and I just love what you just said, to anyone watching at home who's about to go to school, part of the reason I wrote this book is because math is never presented alongside the emotional component, True. right? There is an emotional component. You need to be doing those fractions, panicking, and then flip to page 52 and say, here are some tips for what to do when I'm panicking about fractions. And that's the vibe of the book and of this quiz show we are about to do. Okay, are you let's ready? go. We're going to no do five stalling. questions. Okay, the first question is, we're gonna make change. How many nickels are in a dollar? No. <laughs> this is so easy math and I'm struggling. Okay. Guys, Don't worry. how many nickels Deep are in breath. a dollar? Just breathe. Are you legit looking? Just chill. I'm gonna say 20. 20, oh thank gosh. I panicked. <laughs> I panicked too. I panicked. I forgot what a nickel was for a second. I forgot how m what it's a dollar early. was for a second. There you Remember go. nickels? Okay. All right, so we're one, we're one and oh each. That's good, next one. You're killing it. Next question, rounding. So as we know, the penny is no longer a thing in Canada, RIP penny. You're at Timmy's, you're buying your morning triple triple and it comes to a dollar and 67 cents. You're paying cash. So what price should the cashier round up to? A dollar and 65 cents or a dollar and 70 cents? See, my initial feeling was just, just, just ask for what it is and I'll give it to you. I'm but if we're rounding up, I'm going to go dollar seventy. Okay, let's take a beat. So very interesting. I'm really glad you guys said this. Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. The, the rounding <laughs> rules are you. I have two options. She's so that I messed nice it and up. delicate about that it's wrong okay. answer. Well, a do, is it, is a dollar sixty-seven closer to one sixty-five or one seventy? 165. Which one is it? Uh, exactly. You, exactly. <laughs> well, you got to make you sense when you speak, Vanessa. Vanessa. Trick me with your well, words, Vanessa. Trick me with your words. I was trying to create right. one, one more. One, 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 one more quick one, one, Vanessa. We got one more. Let's, let's, okay, let's right finish now, our show. Literally right kids in grade two saying, what's wrong with these two? Okay, let's go. This is the question I got wrong on national mm -hmm. television. I was on a show called Canada's Smartest Person. I got this wrong on literal national television in front of my parents in the studio audience. You're oh. buying an apple, and it's a super expensive apple because it costs three dollars. Must be a hundred. You hand the cashier two toonies. How much change should you get back? Say it again. Buying an so you expensive buy an apple. apple that's, it's three dollars. You hand the cashier two toonies. How much change should you get? This back? seems too easy to oh, get I'm wrong. Gonna, I'm Come gonna on say now. A, like the, a buck. One dollar. 
Buck and Apple? Well, guys, guess who answered two dollars in front of oh, over a hundred thousand people? You know, well, it guess happens. who? I, guess who has a book coming out? So you win. Yeah, you win. <laughs> and apparently, there you brought us a prize, which we'll share. And it looks like chocolate. You'll have to share it. A chocolate calculo. It's a what is it? What is this? Open it, open it, open it. Okay, oh, so this is, what? it's a real calculator that looks Let's go like, tight, don't guys, try please. and break it in half. Oh, it smells good. Don't eat it. It smells it. like chocolate. It's don't an eat it. actual it's... calculator. Ah, so, Sid, next time cute. we go to the store. But you, again, you can't eat this chocolate calculator. No. You use it. You, you actually use, use it. it. When you, like, use it. I think calculators should be, like, fun accessories. I don't know why they look so boring most wow. of the time. Vanessa, I'm calculating the length of this segment. We have run out of time. It is time for a break, but for more information, Math Hacks 2 is out, everybody. As of tomorrow, go to Indigo, Amazon. Follow Vanessa on Instagram at the Math Guru. We have some work to do. It all adds up, Dee. Vanessa, thank you. Best of luck with the book. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. You guys did great. Like, great. Two out of three ain't bad. Reward yourself with some Pringles.